In this video, we're going to create a C program that will convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit temperatures. So the actual conversion itself is not too bad. We basically just have to take the Celsius temperature, multiply it by 1.8, and add 32. And this is just the well-known equation to do the conversion that you know you can research online. So we'll store the Celsius temperature in a variable, we'll say double C, and then we'll store the Fahrenheit temperature. And this is where we're actually going to do the conversion. We'll actually do the calculation to perform the conversion. So we just say C times 1.8 and then add 32. And that'll do the conversion. And we probably want to output the results of the conversion just to see that it's worked successfully. So we could say C percent dot two LF to output a double with two decimal digits. And we'll put an arrow there, arrow there and then we're going to say F percent dot two LF, a new line and we'll output C and we'll put F. And if we run this here, we have to compile it here and then we run it, we get C100 converts to F212. And, and we've got the conversion ready, it looks like. If we try a zero for Celsius, which is the freezing point in Celsius, we get 32 in Fahrenheit. And so things are looking pretty good. We could try something else. We could try like 22 or 22.5 maybe. Let's try. Run this one here. You know, F is 72.5. And, and you know this this aligns with our kind of understanding of these temperatures and it looks like our looks like our calculation is correct here so it's really not too bad to do the conversion it's basically just you know um, carrying out th these operations to do the conversion successfully now one thing we might want to do is we might want to make our program a little bit fancier maybe we want to have the user input the Celsius temperature that we're going to actually convert from to Fahrenheit uh, we might also want to do something like create a table of conversions from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So just for fun, let's let's go over those things too, just, just for the fun of, of doing them. So I'm going to say here, double F, or I'm going to say double C is equal to zero. I'm just going to initialize it to zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user to, to enter in a Fahrenheit or, or enter in a Celsius temperature. So we'll say like print F, we'll say like enter C temp. And we'll just ask them for the temperature. And then we're going to use a scanf, and we're going to store the temperature into C. So we're going to store the temperature into C. So I have to put the and C there to make sure it stores the result into the C variable here. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to do the conversion now after we've asked the user for the temperature. So we'll say like double, or actually we don't have to, we've already declared it up there. We'll say F is equal to, and then we do the conversion there. So then we do the conversion there, and we can recompile this. And now it should ask the user for the temperature. So it says enter C temp, and I could say let's let's try one we already did. So we'll do we'll say twenty two point five zero, and again we get seventy two point five zero. But I could run it again now, and I could give it different temperatures. So I could say like fifty, and I get like one hundred twelve there. And, and so you know now we can run the program and, and feed it all different kinds of temperatures and get the conversion. So that's one thing we might want to do. Another thing we might want to do is output a table of conversions. So if we want to output a table of conversions, what I'd want to do is set up a loop that's going to have some counter variable. And the counter variable is actually really going to be the, the value of, of Celsius, right? We're going to start off at a certain Celsius temperature and we're going to convert to, you know, a certain end point uh, and maybe we're going to step by a certain value. So maybe we could, maybe we could actually ask the user for those values too. So we could say like double start is equal to zero. And we'll say double stop is equal to zero. Or maybe we'll say end. We'll say end is equal to zero. And we'll say double step is equal to zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user now for a start value, an end value, and a step value. And we're going to write a loop that's going to do the conversions starting from the starting point, going until the end point, stepping by the step value. So let's ask the user. We're going to say here, we'll change this now. We're going to say uh, enter start value. And we'll ask them for that. So we'll say scan F percent LF. And we're going to store that into start. And then we're going to do the same thing for, um, for stop and end. Maybe instead of start value, I'll say start C temp. And I'll say end C temp. And we'll store it into end. And then I'll say enter step. Enter step value. 
and we'll store that into step. And, and the idea here now is that we're accepting the starting point, the end point, and the step for our table of conversions. And what we'll do now is we'll make a for loop here. And we'll make a for loop and we'll say double, or actually we can, we can actually just use C. We'll just use C because we've already got C. We might as well just use it. So we'll say that C is equal to start. That's where we're going to start the loop off in terms of the conversions. We're going to go until the end value. So we're going to go up until that C is less than or equal to the end value where we want to stop doing conversions. And then we're going to increment C by the step value. So that's how much we're going to step in our, in our table of conversions here. And then what we'll do is we'll print out the conversion. So I'll say like print F and I could actually probably just use some of this here. I could actually just say like, I'll actually just copy and paste this and copy and paste their conversion there too, because we might as well. Um, so I'll, pop, I'll copy and paste this in there. We'll say that F is equal to C times 1.8 plus 32. And when we do a print F here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the values like this. I'm going to say percent dot two LF and I'll put a, I'll put maybe a, uh, I'll put, I'll put this here. I'm going to put a, let's say eight here. Then I'm going to say eight here. And let's, let's look at what we get here. And then I'll talk about the result here. So let's just run this, see what we get. And then, then I'll talk about the result here. So I'm going to compile it again, run it again. So now it asks for a start temperature and we'll put in say like zero. It asks for an end temperature. I'll put in say 20 and a step value. Let's say I put in one. So now what happens is we get this output here and the output you can see at temperature of Celsius being zero, we get 32 at temperature one, we get 33.8 Two, we get 35.60 all the way up to 20 where we get 68. And so what's going on here is we're doing the conversion from the start value up until the end value of 20 and we're increasing by the step value each time, which is one. So we're increasing the step value by one each time. And every time what's, what's going on is we're doing the conversion at the current C value and we're doing the conversion in the usual way. And then we print it out. And we, when we printed it out here, I printed it out. So it'd be formatted in a nice way that looks kind of like a table here where we've got here percent eight dot two LF. What this means is output a, uh, a double value with two decimal points. So we've got the two decimal points like 0 .0, 0 0.0 you see there. Um, and then the eight means output it in a, essentially a field of length eight. And it's going to be right aligned in that field by default. So if you really look at this, we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And what those eight spaces are, those are, that's, that's the field. That's essentially the field. Uh, that's the, that's the, the space in which we are, we are outputting this value and the percent eight that's what gives us that when we say eight and then we say like the dot two LF, the eight is what's giving us that. Um, you can actually left align it if you put a negative in front. So if you put a negative in front of this, it would, it would left align it and it would put it so that way it's aligned towards the left. We might want to try out that to see what it looks like. So I could say zero again. I could say one again and I could say 20 again, or sorry, uh, that was a bad table there. You can see the conversion already. <laughs> Uh, I gave I gave some values there that weren't too exciting. So we'll say zero again for the start, twenty for the end, and one for the step. And now you see we get a table again, but this time the 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 values here are left aligned within those eight spaces. Um, and so this is just sort of making our, our table look a bit nicer here. Um, so one thing we might want to do as well is we might, we might want to print out the the headings of the table. So I'm going to say here print F, and I'm going to say C. And I'll put in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces, um, eight for the space there. And, and then I'll say F here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to output some, some column headings here. Let's just see how those look. So let's say start temperature of zero end temperature of 20 step value of one. And if I scroll up here, I now have column headings here. Oh, although the, the F is actually over a little bit, the F should be over a little bit more than it is. So, um, We've got, oh, we'll put in some more spaces there. Zero, 21. And now I've got like column headings here. So I've got like Celsius and Fahrenheit here as, as column headings. And I could put in like, I could put in, 
Celsius and Fahrenheit, but I think C and F is, is clear enough. We might want to put in like a, um, we may want to put in something like this where we have like a row of stars just to make it even clearer that like this is our, this is the heading of our table. We don't have to do that, but I'm just saying we might want to do that. So I'll just say zero, 20, and one. And you can see now we've got like a, a more clear de delineation from the, the headings and the actual data in the table. Um, and, and you know, we, we might want to try out different values to see that it works. So we could try out, let's run it now. And let's run it with a start temperature of, let's say, uh, we'll say zero again. End temperature, we're going to say 100 now. And I'm going to step by, I'm going to step by uh, 13, let's say. So here you've got an, a new table here where we're going from zero as the starting point to 100 as the end point, And we're stepping by 13. We're stepping by 13. So we get like zero gets converted to 32. 13, because we step by 13, because we add 13 each time, gets converted to 55.4. 26 gets converted to 78.8. And we go all the way up to 91. We don't actually convert 100 because we're stepping by 13. And the next step beyond 91 would be like 104, which is past our endpoint. So we don't actually do that conversion there. But now we've got this code here that's, you know, uh, doing our conversions and putting them into a nice table like this as well. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.